Good evening, and welcome to Off the Glass. What is up? I am your host, Tony Anthony Macon, and alongside me is Myron Walker. Tonight's subject, Donald Trump versus LeVar Ball. <laughs> also, Ray Allen Catfish, or was he really searching for a ding-dong? He got catfish. Did he want the sausage? <laughs> also, Congressman showing off his sausage. Yes, Mr. Barton. And thinking. much more on this episode of Off the Glass. Mm. Myron Walker, what's good? What is good, man? Uh, you know, hey, happy Thanksgiving Eve. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm excited. Um, feeling good. Got out of work. See, got to work. Got out of work a little early today. Got some stuff going on. Yeah, I'm good. No, you don't have to say tomorrow's Thanksgiving because what you did was you just dated this. Now, if this doesn't drop tonight, guess what? It's old news now. We gonna fuck with you. Yeah, kind of, kind of serious, but fuck I you. feel you. But I, mean, <laughs> I feel you. It's all good, man. It, it is all good because it's Thanksgiving. Fuck it, rookie. <laughs> uh, and then the thing is, what we're talking about is going to be dated because it happened when it really, happened. I mean, it happens when it happens, but, but at the same time, you know, you wanted to make it sound fresh and so forth. Now, see, if it happens on a Friday, you can always see this is just one thing about radio and news. Right. You report it as if it's new. You don't report it. Backdate. I feel you. So like you, you you stay away from was and words like that. Like when your headlines. I mean, now, you you, now when you report it, when you talk about it, yeah, you go back to you know. You see, we give so opinions, forth. but so when we you, give it our perspective. I understand that. But so when you, fresh perspective, well, still, even with that, you still want to talk in a present sense. You want right. people to think that everything is brand spanking new. I'm letting you guys behind the scenes for those of you who may not know uh, radio and uh, broadcasting and, and so forth. So right. media. But, you know, hey, let's go on. This first subject is all about LeVar Ball versus Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is basically upset because LeVar Ball hasn't apologized mm. for him allegedly, allegedly bringing his son home from China. Or not even bringing him home, but having a part, he, he having played a, a part, playing a part in him getting uh, right home from uh, right from China. Right. So let's run down this timeline. Right. You've been if you've been rocking with us, you know how it's been going. Uh, we've talked about LiAngelo Ball, you know, and his situation over in China. Mm -hmm. And one of the things uh, just recently, Levar Ball was uh, interviewed. Uh, 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 by CNN, yep. uh, which he uh, basically, I, we should call, uh, instead of CNN now, it should be a, a big baller brand, because uh, he really owned uh, CNN with that interview. I, I wouldn't uh, say he, he didn't own them, not at all. Uh, he owned that interview. His mate, uh, Chris uh, Komodo. Do you, know, you really know his name? Yeah, and, and his, his, was his friends call him Mo. Or whatever his his friends call him Mo. Mo. Yeah, yeah, some trash. But... Uh, no, he, he was no Don Lemon. And that's and that's not saying much. I mean... Uh, <laughs> he was no Sean Hannity. And that's not saying much. He was no... Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. It's, he was no... Uh, what's the... Uh, what's the uh, uh, other guy? The gray-haired guy who... Uh, oh, you're talking about... Who uh, likes it like Ray Allen? Cooper. Oh, a Anderson Cooper. He was no Anderson Cooper. Uh, but... He, uh, can't, he, he <laughs> controlled the interview. He tried his best to control the interview. No, he with did the, with the, He's... First off, he's interviewing LeVar Ball. He got and, and LeVar Ball, one of the things he did was Even treat, when he went up against Stephen A, they went head up when they were talking nah, they didn't. Stephen A is Stephen A was just talking just to be talking. Stephen A is one of those type of people just, just like LeVar Ball. Well, we, just we're, 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 we're going we, too far away got from you. everything. But got you. uh uh But just to give the, the timeline, right. uh like I said, Leangelo Ball was in China. He was facing years of for uh for allegedly shoplifting. Um, however, it almost, it was, yeah, and it also seems like uh, LeVar Ball, his father, confirmed it in that interview. He did. He confirmed it. So, uh, yeah, he, he said he took the stuff and gave it back. And he said he apologized. Yeah. And the thing was, uh, you know, 
D'Angelo Ball come, came back home. Uh, he, he banked the president and so forth. Mm -hmm. But Donald Trump was really upset because he felt like LeVar right. should have been thanking him as well. I mean, wow. to add to the timeline, you know, Donald Trump just so happened to be in China. It wasn't like he went to China on purpose. But at the same time, he took time out of his presidential agenda. Okay, now, what was his motivation? Well, of course, it was, was politically motivated. To meet with the president of China. Right, and of so, course, any decent president take is going to be. time meet. out. He, no, he was meeting with him, and he right. was already there. He happened to be there. So, yeah. any any half of a president is going to mention the fact, like, hey, buddy, you got a couple of these UCLA college players kind of locked up in a hotel. Can we kind of let him go? But I appreciate it. But was that confirmed that he actually said that? I mean, like, of course the, he said it. the Chinese president, of course he did? Of course he did it. How many times have Donald Trump lied to us? A bunch. But he said it now. The reason why I say he said it now because he's an opportunist. And he took an opportunity to look he's good in front of America. He's an opportunist, but yeah. he also is an opportunist to lie about shit. True. And make it seem like he did Absolutely. something. Absolutely. It's so, just not in this case, I don't think. And pretty much this is this this is what the whole interview came down to. And this right. is why it is a LeVar Ball versus Donald Trump situation right now. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly because of the fact that... Don LeVar Ball doesn't feel like that Donald Trump did anything. He, he, he doesn't feel like there's proof. And he also said... He anything was like, special. And, well, and like no, no, no. Because he still, no, he no still said, he said, how do he know? He still doesn't... Like, I, I don't really know. I mean, like, I, okay. When he first, when Donald Trump first said it, I mean, yeah, as the president, you think to yourself, okay, maybe I'm supposed to believe he did, really. You know what I mean? Like, at first, at first thought, like, when I first heard the story... That Donald Trump spoke to the, let me say this the president of China yeah. to get him back home and I was like okay okay well, damn Donald Trump I see you you owe us a lot of them so you know about time you gave us a favor baby I mean but then but then you know when you really really sit and think about it you start to say to yourself did he really did I mean did he if he really? did or not what what bar, what ball was supposed to do he was supposed to say you know what. I don't know the full extent or what Mr. Trump did but whatever he did I appreciate it I don't know his motivation. If he wanted to go ahead and throw that in, cool. I don't know his motivation, but I appreciate what he did for my son. Whatever he did, I don't know. I haven't been in well. If you are already debriefed if on what you he already did. working on something, and you 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 almost finished with this project, and then somebody else comes along and say, "Hey, I think you guys should do this," and that's what already is being done. Guess what? You do not get credit for that shit. That's true. In so that's cases, what I'm saying, like, you know, in hey. In most cases, so like you said, like, in this particular case, like you said, you, he, LeBar, LeBar I mean, Ball LeBar, said, did Mr. he, put, Ball, he, did yeah, he put money on his he bail? He put money, yeah. He, <laughs> no. He, he didn't. He said, he reached into his own money. He alluded to the things that they had already had in place and what they were doing to try to get Did he bring free. him home with you? No. And that was a great point that he said, like, when you save somebody, don't you take them out of the situation? Don't you take him with you? You don't go in and say, hey, can you let them go and then leave and then leave my man's there? You mm -hmm. didn't really do anything. You said some words. You suggested. That was what he said, too. He said, he made a suggestion. Yes. I need to thank President Z because President Z, Z. made it happen. Yeah. He's the one that let my, yeah. my son go. Trump went over there and said some words to him. Like, okay, what? Did those words do more than the money and the efforts? And then he said, I had boots on the ground. Yeah. He said, so what really, what, and what like did he, he do? And like he said, one of the things he said was it wasn't really a big deal. Mm -hmm. Now, do I kind of agree with him on that one? He said it wasn't a big deal. He said, he said it was. I think, I, 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 you know, I, I think he just had high hopes of everything was going to go all right. The thing is, he also said it was a victimless crime. I mean, because he said, you know, they took some really stuff and they, returned, and they returned it. So... Mm -hmm. I mean, and he, he said, hey, this was his first bad decision. You know, he's mm -hmm. a 4.0 student, blah, blah, blah. So he he definitely minimized it. But the thing is, it still was a bad look. You are UCLA. How bad of a look is it, though? Let me, let's, let's go bad. into that. Let's go into that. Would you like to throw all your sins from your ages of uh, 18, 19, 20, 21 on the table? And make it seem like you're better than Leangelo Ball. <laughs> hey, definitely not. <laughs> of his one act that he may have got caught for. Is it his one act? That he got caught for, thank you. Exactly. Good. That's what I said. one act that he got, he got caught, caught for. for. He got caught for. So because you didn't get caught for uh, things you may have done what did I do? during the Michigan State riot. Hey. Oh, dang, brother. <laughs> let's, I'm let's just have... saying. I'm oh, just you're saying. just, you're I'm just, just snitching. No, I'm not snitching. On national YouTube. I'm not snitching. 
Okay. I'm not snitching because maybe you didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't do did anything. anything. I didn't do anything. I just asked. I didn't do anything. You, you know? I didn't do anything. I mean, would you like to run it down? What's going on? No. Okay. What's going on? With, I with, mean, statues, with statues of limitation is gone, right? No, statue of limitation is like 29 years or some shit. I, I thought know. it was seven oh, years. But well, it, it, murder is 29 years, so yeah, it's not yeah, murder. 29 so. years, not murder. It's definitely that. It's definitely not anything. So anyway, back to ball. See what I'm saying? Dick. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> what you saying? We all have a past. Still, it does not. I'm not. It's a different to I, having a past and a different. I'm just telling you right now. It's different to having a past and it's different to minimizing. Okay? So I'm not saying ball, you know. I mean, is dismissing did. it, but he kind of he kind of straight minimized it on TV, and it's not like and not in terms of the the sinisterness of the crime. It's just the mindset. I mean, still is some uh, uh, fake uh, uh, what was that Louis Vuitton, right? Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton glasses, because I'm sure it wasn't. They wasn't. They was well, actually, they probably was where they were made, and they probably really. I mean, probably I mean, was all the day. Because it was uh, a Louis store, right? They, they probably, they probably don't. Oh, well, that's the thing. That's the funny thing. And I heard it was multiple stores. I, I mean, I understand. Well, that's what I I'm saying. Heard, that's what you got. That. It all was types stores. of stories. Breitbart uh, put yeah. that out there. Right, Breitbart. Yeah. And, and Breitbart is like a racist fucking uh, column. Mm -hmm. So uh, allegedly, or allegedly, not, or really whatever. Is. But but uh, also it was on. I thought. But I'm just saying, in general, the deal is. It comes down to what do we know? What did Donald Trump? Donald Trump do? said something because he took the opportunity to look good in front of I American people. I don't really people. know. He was trying to gain like some loyalty from us brothers. I us just, I'm, 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 I, and I feel you on that, but I just when you don't trust somebody, I need proof. Proof of what? Because the thing is, I need the, proof the fact of that, that he, statement. I need the fact that he came out because President Z would have said some said something to the fact like, no, he didn't say anything to me. I decided to do this on my own, America. Well, President Z maybe just wanted to just chill out. He like, nah. Look, he like they. You know why? He would have checked. President on Z that. is sitting back laughing like he is. He is. <laughs> that, that country. But, is but Z would have said something though. He's like that country. Fuck with that guy. He would have issued a statement saying like, me and Trump didn't have anything. We didn't have any discussions on this. Mm, not necessarily. Not necessarily. He might want to just completely stay in out my, of these affairs. In my humble opinion, I think Z would have would have. I don't maybe, think he would have. Maybe not. I don't think he would have. Maybe not. I don't think. I don't think. I, I, yeah. I, I just because like he also didn't confirm either. So that's what I'm saying. But I mean, he didn't have to confirm because Ball is in the United States now. Ball is in the United States. Because of whatever happened. And it's a good thing that he's back. Salute to LeVar Ball for also getting off that ball and brand. Uh, 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 he opened the store over there, right? Um, no, no. He just, he, well, he, I don't know if he did or not. But all I know was during that interview, he promoted himself. And, it, and that's what it comes down to. Another thing is, too, are we just looking at two people who are uh, <laughs> masters of, uh, of marketing yeah, I mean, Donald because, Trump and uh, LeVar Ball I mean, know how yeah. to keep their names in everybody's mouth. Basically. Is that what we actually looking at? I mean, at the end of the day, maybe that's all we're really looking at. I mean, because we'll really, even even the product that they put out for the Lakers, okay? So so his son, I mean, he's he got 13, well, he got like 13 rebounds the other day. I mean, he had like, that was supposed well, to like a breakout. I mean, I mean he, we don't want to go into Lonzo Ball right I'm now. Because if we're going to Lonzo Ball right now, I'm just saying. we have to start bashing. I, I, you want to bash people? I mean, if I just want to keep bashing real. people, man. Just we might keep as well go ahead and bash I think people. he was hyped up, just like to the marketing point. He marketed a product that thus far has been a little hyped up. I would That's say Lonzo wasn't hyped up. I would I would more so say he could have used another year in school. The fact that now he, he came can out, beat, he came he can out. Beat Steph Curry, the fact that, you know what I mean? He's well, you're supposed to say that. That's what the pop's supposed to say. Now nobody, but nobody believes. It's marketing, but I'm a lot of that stuff nobody. It's not true. No, 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 no. A lot of stuff that they were saying about his game, nobody believed. Like, like he could beat Steph Curry. Right. People didn't believe that shit. Okay. There's a lot of things that people didn't believe. Right. That draft class. When you look at the draft class, you start talking about people. Now nah, there's some good people in there, good, good ballers. But when you really look at it, you don't say there's a person that's coming out. Like he was the number one pick. Enough said. So it wasn't like it was a great draft class. Okay. So, I mean, you know, he oversold something. And, and at the end of the day, if you start looking at everybody under Lonzo Ball, I mean, yeah, there's some other players that are playing just the same. But it, this, this, if, if this happens a year from now and he still played another year, he still come out the first, first pick. Mm, 
Well, no, 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 no. It depends on what they do. Mm -hmm. and, at, and at UCLA, he was that guy. He was that dude. College is different. It is. I mean, that goes into a whole other story. We could talk differently, right. and we would be talking mm -hmm. forever if we start talking about the quality of the college player right now, which we may do on a later podcast. Stay tuned.